Today's practical tango advice. Today's practical tango advice deals with a floor craft issue uh, in a continuing series. Uh, this floor craft issue uh, deals with something that happens for leads a lot. There's not a whole lot here for the follower. Uh, however, followers, just because we're talking about floor craft and it's all for the lead does not necessarily mean that you should just tune out and this has nothing to do with you at, in any way, shape, or form. <clears throat> Wrong. You as a follower, that the more that we progress towards becoming active followers, the, the more that we, specifically when we're talking about uh, floor craft issues, we do actually need to start paying attention. And the reason that you need to start paying attention, especially to this issue, has everything to do with what you were doing with your feet. Uh, and where you are going. All right, so the issue on the table is uh, what we refer to as staying in your lane. What does that mean? All right, so I wanna show you the idea. And the moment you see the idea, you're gonna say to yourself, um, Miles, I don't see anything wrong with this. All right, so what I want you to do is uh, I'm gonna draw two lines on the screen uh, 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 along here, and I wanna show you something. And the moment you see it, you're gonna to say to yourself, I don't see anything wrong with this. Here's the problem. Did you see it? One more time. So, notice what's happened. My line of dance was towards the camera and look at what happened. Look at the lines on the screen. Look at where we went we quite literally went outside of our lane. We are now in between lanes. This is a tiny little problem. This is known as um, not staying in your lane, and there's the problem. We don't necessarily want to do this. Now, mind you, this happens for a lot of leads, and I'm not just, I'm using the Argentine cross here as a way to illustrate this problem. It happens repeatedly in everything else, believe it or not. I'll give you one more tiny little example. Same lines on the screen and look at what happens with this. Now mind you, this is uh, uh, the followers, I'm engaging the followers from Olinete to the leads hero, and watch what happens here. Yes, look at where we went. This is a tiny little problem. <clears throat> now, to be fair, there is nothing wrong with this issue. <clears throat> wrong. Um, there's nothing wrong with this issue. If, and here's the if, if you have oodles of space on the dance floor. However, if you don't have oodles of space on the dance floor, then doing what, what I just did, you're gonna run into people. Quite literally, you're going to, and I'm going to use a very nasty word, children, cover your ears, you're going to piss off a whole bunch of people. What this does is it creates a, 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 essentially a gap. What do I mean by that? So I want you to go back to Floorcraft 101, uh, the, the gap that happens between couples, yes? That here we're dancing along, here we're dancing along, and the couple ahead of me um, starts doing some crazy stuff. So what ends up happening is a gap opens up. So the reason why we're talking about this gap is because when, when I'm not staying in my lane, that gap tends to open up even wider and wider and wider, and it creates a problem for the people behind me and behind them and behind them and so on and so forth. So essentially, it's a ripple effect. So whatever happens with this couple, whatever happens between you and your partner has a ripple effect, not just to the, to the couple behind you or the couple ahead of you, but to the entire room. So staying in your lane is kind of sort of important. Okay, so how do you solve for this problem? <clears throat> so here's how you solve for the problem. You're going to think to yourself, well, this is an easy solution. I'll just make things small. Yes, absolutely. Wrong thinking. That's not how we solve the problem. The, the way that we solve this problem has everything to do with the lead. Here's the problem. Uh, the lead in this particular case has a very specific way of doing X, Y, and Z, meaning that this is the only Argentine cross that they know, is that they have to do it that way. Yes, one more time. This time into the camera that they have to step outside partner and leave their partner like so, yes? This is the only Argentine cross that they understand, or my apologies, that you understand. So I want you to think about, 
not just making it smaller, but changing the Argentine cross so that it fits within the line and lane of dance. Uh, and mind you, I'm just using the Argentine cross as an example here. Mind you, we, you, we, could, we, we could do this with an ocho cortado. We could do this with a, uh, with a follows Milanete. Uh, Any time where that base vocabulary needs to get modified to make it smaller or compact is the answer to making this or, or to creating the, the solution that we're looking for, which is stay.